beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. But we are here tonight to worship. This is an amazing thought. A God who is indescribable. You say, well, how do you know that? All you have to do is walk outside on a dark night and look up into the sky, and you will know when you look up that this God we're worshiping tonight is beyond our wildest dream. The scripture says, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. The starry host by the breath of his mouth. We live in a little subdivision in the universe called the Milky Way Galaxy. In case you didn't know, that's where you live. Some of you are thinking you live in Shady Grove. No, you, you're living in the Milky Way Galaxy. That's your subdivision in the universe, a very big universe that we have to use something called a light year to get around in. You say, well, what's a light year? Well, that's how fast light travels in one year. And we know it's flying 186,000 miles a second. So if light goes 186,000 miles a second for a whole year, it goes 5.88 trillion miles in a year. Year. And that's the measurement, or one of the main measurements we use to get around in the universe that God has created. That's how big it is. The foot, not going to help you in God's universe. The yard, of no value to you whatsoever in God's universe. The mile, insignificant. The kilometer, Matt, uh, not going to help you uh, getting around in God's universe. We have to use a ruler that is 5.88 trillion miles long to measure things in God's universe. And our home subdivision, the Milky Way galaxy, just came into being. It, cons it's con it consists of billions of stars. Just our subdivision, the Milky Way galaxy. Not hundreds, not millions, not hundreds of millions. Billions of stars in our home subdivision, the Milky Way galaxy. And scientists say that there are hundreds of billions of other subdivisions and galaxies in the known universe. This shot is where we live. It's a little snapshot of the Milky Way galaxy. If you zoom into this star-forming region, you see something pretty amazing. This particular shot is a close-up of a star-forming region in our subdivision taken by a friend of ours named Dr. David Block, who's an astronomer down at Witts University in Johannesburg, South Africa. And we were down there a few months ago, and he was telling us that if we were to count the billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, one star per second, so if we just started with any one of these, I don't know which one you want to pick. Um, let's just start with this one right here. And we, because I can reach it, and we start one, two, three, four, five. That looks like one, but I'm close enough to see it's two that are close together. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go back over here. Twelve. You're like, oh, please don't count them all. If we counted all the stars in our subdivision, one per second, it would take 2,500 years just to count the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And God says about himself, you, you, you want to know how the universe is telling us that God is big? Through the prophet Isaiah, he says, to whom will you compare me? And who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift your eyes to the heavens. Who created all of these. And then he answers for himself. The one who leads forth the starry host one by one and calls them each by name. Because of his mighty strength and great power, not one of them is missing. If you want to get a glimpse of it, here's a composite shot of our subdivision. The Milky Way galaxy is taken by Com combining hundreds of thousands of photographs. Uh, obviously, we haven't managed to get outside of the Milky Way galaxy to take a picture of it, but um, NASA folks are pretty sure that's what it looks like. It has a, a barred nucleus. It's a barred spiral galaxy. And you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's 100,000 light years across. So if you want to go visit your neighbors on the other side of the subdivision, you just have to go 186,000 miles a second for 100,000 years, and boom, you're at their house. Um, <laughs> in our little neighborhood home called the Milky Way Galaxy. You say, well, where are we? I'm, I'm looking for us on there. You know, we, we got to be right in the center, obviously. I'm sure we're right, in that, right there in that middle. No, we, believe it or not, we're not even in the center of our own subdivision, okay? So affirming again tonight, it's not about you and it's not about me. We don't even live in the center of our own subdivision. And you don't want to live in the center of the subdivision because it's scary in the center of the subdivision. We, you say, well, where do we live? Well, we live way out between a couple of the spiral arms. You don't want to live in there either because that's dangerous 
Spanish territory inside the bands. We live in that little clear zone between a couple of the bands, about two-thirds of the way out. We're living somewhere about there. And you're, you're like, well, I don't, I don't see me. No. Because we couldn't put a mark on the diagram that you could see that would be the right relative size to our solar system. You know, that's our little cul-de-sac in the subdivision that we couldn't even put our solar system on here in relative size to the Milky Way galaxy for you to see. It's that small inside the Milky Way galaxy. Scientists say our solar system is the size of a quarter and the Milky Way galaxy is the size of the North American continent. So our whole solar system is a quarter in the size of an area as big as the North American continent. We're not that consequential in our own subdivision called the Milky Way galaxy. And somewhere in there is a star, one of these billions of stars. It's not the biggest, the baddest, the brightest. It's just one of the stars of the billions of stars. We call it the sun and around it tonight are orbiting these balls, one of which is called Earth. It's our home. That's you and me. No, I'm not trying to make you feel small. I'm trying to help you see that you are small. <laughs> but it's significant insignificance. Because as tiny as we are, we are known and prized by majesty who sent for us and loves us and knows us even though we are teeny tiny little bitty people on a little bitty speck floating through the vast cosmos that he has made. Just like he could name every star as he called them into being and put them in their places. He could start in this building tonight all the way up in the top with you right there. And he could call you by your name. And he could move to you and call you by your name and you by your name. And the great creator of all the heavens and the earth could move through this auditorium and call every single person in this building by name tonight. He knows us and is aware of us and loves us and has come to invite us into a relationship with him that will never ever end.